Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. This is um, a general reading so it won't resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, it is much appreciated. All links are below if you want to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Virgo. Thank you Lord God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. So Virgo, we have coming out balanced spirituality and practicality, full moon and Pisces. We have leaving. We have communicate clearly. All right, so it looks like well, Pisces being the last sign, something is the last ditch effort or there's an ending here. Um, somebody could be leaving a toxic or stuck situation behind. They've done all that they can do in order to, to promote change and um, trying to heal the situation but something is becoming very uncomfortable maybe even a level of intoler intolerable Virgo you could be in this situation and you're leaving some toxic situation behind you need to communicate that clearly to anyone outside of your connection uh, maybe you are going from one situation to another one person to another one job to another I don't know um, you need to communicate clearly because there has been great misunderstanding between you and someone else. Someone doesn't know what you mean or what you need or what this means for them or for you or for us. Um, In-person uh, discussions are, are best right now. I mean, if you can't be in person, um, then make sure your communication is thorough because... This miscommunication is just creating challenges for all parties involved, okay? You need to clear up these misunderstandings so you can heal from this situation and everybody else can also. And people can just start moving forward. Some of you, somebody wasn't clear with you, you need to be clear with them in terms of what they wanted from you. You need to be clear with them in terms of what you need out of this situation. If you aren't getting it, you do need to leave or you do need to be practicing a leaving effort because um, just to sit in something that is uncomfortable, intolerable, um, no longer healthy for you, that's, that's self-sacrificing. What? Why are you being the martyr? What are you going to gain here? Um, you might need to stand up for yourself, assert yourself. Some of you are super romantic at this point because you you got one little thing or you're holding on to every little word that maybe another person says here, but you're not being super realistic, says the um, balanced spirituality and practicality card. You need to live in the real, in the now, in the here, in the now. Um, your communication between you and this person needs to be clear. You don't need to make up anything in your mind. Um, you don't need to read between lines. It is what it is. It needs to be that for you and for the other person or all parties involved. This is what I'm getting for you, Virgo. It's very, you know, clear cut, straightforward here. Um, there's an energy of... Um, Yes, this person is your soulmate. I get it, you know, um, but at the same time, sometimes you have to release things and if it belongs to you, it'll come back to you. You know that. Avoid substance abuse, even even if this is overeating or overindulging in something, avoid that because that might be a coping me mechanism where you just go over, you overspend, overeat, overindulge, over this, I don't know. You abuse something, okay, because you don't want to deal with it. Um, that's the coping method. Or this is what someone else is doing. Um, you need to meditate every single day and see what the universe brings you. Um, the anxiety, the fears, all because you won't listen to your intuition and you're not meditating. You're not grounded. You keep hanging on to, I don't know, hanging on to every little word that somebody says. Meditate and solutions will come to you. You need to pay attention and make a concerted effort toward goals for yourself, um, goals in your relationship. For some of you, it's goals to get out of a relationship. I don't know. You need to dive deep into your emotions and really start to understand why you feel this way. Whatever way you're feeling. You need to tackle it head on. 
So this is a reading that I have for you. If it resonates for you, Virgo, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. You can also um, get in on the new moon manifestation session happening tomorrow, July 9th on the new moon, where you can manifest new love, new energy, new streams of income, banish old energies, old paradigms, old ways of thinking, fear, anxiety, people, places, things that just don't serve you any longer. If you want newness in your life, be a part of that session. The link is below in the description box. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you. Take care.